Hello there, everyone, and welcome. It is uh, Bedford Camera and Video's PhotoCon. I am here with Jesse Miller. He is an associ associate. associate professor of photography at UCO here in Edmond. Yes. And so you are here, special guest, to speak with us uh, regarding, well, to speak to a lot of our uh, customers here and a lot of attendants about workflow. Yes, yes. Wh why is it so important to have proper workflow in the digital age today? Well, workflow is a way to save you time. It's a way to save you stress because if you have a proper workflow, you're probably going to be spending a lot less time through your, your editing process or even through dealing with clients. Um, it, any way that I can find to reduce stress in, in my photography, that's you know added benefit to me. I don't like stress. I'm not a, a stressful person. Um, so setting myself up a workflow, a way to work, is going to prevent that stress. So I like to know that I'm following things in order, and that way everything's going to going to come out correct. And what kind of workflow basically um, would be a little bit more substantial for folks as far as maybe just kind of. Uh, organization, narrowing down your images, or just kind of maybe picking your best images during your workflow? I mean, what kind of workflow do you always suggest for folks? I ex ex uh, will uh, push for workflow for everything that you do in photography. I have a workflow for how I prep my camera gear to go shoot. Mm -hmm. I have a workflow of how I edit my photos. I have a workflow of how I organize my photos. I think anywhere that you can put a workflow so that you are setting up a system so that way you're going to be successful of how you either prepare to shoot, mm -hmm. to shoot, or in the editing process, the better off you're going to be. Well, let's start with the workflow as far as gear. Okay. I mean, a lot of folks think, well, I'll just grab my bag and go. Yeah. Okay, but it can be a little bit more than that for a lot of the uh, uh, bridles, a lot of weddings that a lot of yeah. folks might have to yeah. cover, correct? If I just grab my bag and go, I'm, I'm not preparing. I'm not knowing that my equipment is going to be good mm -hmm. to shoot. Mm -hmm. I want to know that, especially if I'm shooting a wedding or something where it's a once-in-a-lifetime event, that I have everything correct and ready to go. So I want to make sure my batteries are set up right, that I know they're good batteries, that mm -hmm. they're fully charged. My camera's at the right setting. I don't want to be fumbling with my camera when I get on location. Anything I can do to prepare myself so that way when I'm there, all I got to do is pull my camera out and shoot, the better off I am. Okay, so you've done the shoot. Mm -hmm. You're back at your computer. Yes. And so there's another workflow for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sitting down, you know, mm -hmm. what are your best tips as far as sitting and just kind of looking at that big monster of a screen mm -hmm. and getting the proper workflow going mm -hmm. without getting stressed. Because now, for a lot of folks, that's the most stressful part. Oh, yeah. Sitting yeah. down and trying to pick them out or adjust mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. What tips would you give for those? Well, again, if you have a workflow, if you have a system for editing your photos, there shouldn't be any stress to begin with. Mm -hmm. So if you once you import your photos in, if you have a method of working with them, instead of just, oh, I'm going to pull some photos up and I'm going to edit them and see how it looks, no, you should be able to figure out a way of go through your photos. These are the best photos to work with. Then you, from there, you're going to tweak those photos, make sure that the exposures are good. Then you're going to go through and start adding some style and elements into your photos. But if I just open photos and don't have a plan of action, and I just start working with photos, I can spend all day there, and I'm not going to get anywhere because I don't have a plan to get me from beginning to end. Okay. So probably a more simple plan, let's say, as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, I sit down, and then I start going through all my photographs, and I don't look at the photograph, I start looking at the eyes. Because mm -hmm. if, my, if my portraits are not yeah. sharp, yeah. it's yep. gone. Yep. It's like, eyes are sharp, eyes are sharp, yep. eyes are sharp, not sharp, gone. Yep. After I go through my images to make sure that everything is sharp, mm -hmm. then I start kind of picking a lot of the ones that, okay, that one's good, that one's not, that one's too similar, that one's gone. So that's a good workflow yes. to start off with, yes. right? Yep, that's how I begin everything. I go through my photos, decide which ones are the ones I'm going to work with, ones I don't even want to see anymore. Mm -hmm. I can mark those so I don't know I'm not, those are not going to be good anymore. And then, yeah, I'm going to start doing basic editing, getting my photos to a place where I know that the exposures are good, that everything is, is at a starting point. Before I do anything else, like worry about style or cropping or any of that, taking out uh, dust, stuff. That, that should always be added later. First thing you should worry about is which photos you want to work with and how to get them to a good starting point. Yeah. Now, uh, for, um, for a lot of folks, I know that the debate is like, okay, computer, external drive, mm -hmm. the cloud, or server online. Mm -hmm. yeah, any thoughts about probably the best storage? You don't want just images? one. You want okay, multiple yeah. storage. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to find one that's going to work efficient for you. For me, a, a good external drive that's fast, that I can edit from, it's my top priority to have that. Mm -hmm. And then I want another storage system that will be redundant, that will have multiple copies saved, that I know that I can back up to, and it's going to be a little more trustworthy than a single hard drive in, in one box. 
Um, and then cloud storage great too because then you can save things to an offsite location and make sure that you have more images. If something happened and all your stuff failed, mm -hmm. you still got a spot with some photos on it. All right. Well, Jesse, thank you so much no for joining problem. us. Enjoy the conference, okay? Yes. All right. Thanks.